Well, everyone was moved when the Philadelphia Eagles' new wide receiver, Devontae Smith, talked about the important role his barber plays in his life. It's a relationship, though, that a lot of black men know all too well. Yeah, sadly, more than a few were forced to close these barber shops because of the pandemic, including two that were fixtures in their West Oak Lane neighborhood. My main focus was growing the barbershop and leaving it in this community. But Bruce F. Burton's goals changed last March. In the bear, 25 years. COVID definitely set that dream down. The original Pretty Boys Barbershop was a fixture in West Oak Lane for some 25 years. But that all changed on March 18th when he closed his shop forever. And his was not the only one to leave the neighborhood. Joey Dunstan's shop was another. I knew eventually, you know, the sign was going to come down. But it was not quite the ending he had imagined for his barber shop, City of Hairstyles. Sat at 1911 East Washington Lane for more than 20 years. When you're paying money out, you're paying a lot of money out and the money's not coming in. It wasn't making sense. Not to him or the other black barber shop and salon owners in our city that were forced to close down during the height of the pandemic. Never did they think it would be forever. COVID, the uncertainty is the thing that shut this down because I definitely wanted to keep this in the community. And pass it down to his namesake, who's also a licensed barber. I definitely wanted to pass it down to my son. I wasn't able to get enough money to keep this building going. I had things in the works uh, where I was looking for grant money and also outside loan money. While Bruce was able to get some help, it still did not prove fruitful or financially smart long-term. The problem came in when I was trying to purchase a building. Valued at more than $375,000, Bruce says he simply did not have enough money to justify making such a purchase. You have to do what you have to do to survive in this profession. So we all know barbers survived. They cut, they did what they had to do, you know, to keep the money coming in. For both men, it meant having a plan B. Having other jobs has made all the difference for them. Bruce, as a licensed real estate agent with Keller Williams Realty. While Joseph now teaches other would-be barbers how to cut and prepare for their exams and obtain their licenses. Still, he says he misses being a part of his community. You know, it affected a lot of people. You know, a lot of businesses, I'm sure. A lot of businesses closed down due to the pandemic. The last 25 years, so yeah. I'm sorry to see it go. Is there any story, anything that stands out in your mind? None I can tell you. <laughs> Yet another place where black men could be themselves is suddenly gone, but not the memories. Bye. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. I used to get to see my son every day, and he's grown, so it hasn't hit me yet. I know it hasn't hit me. I know I looked at some pictures of my son when he was a child and I had clippers in his hand and he was cutting my hair. And all the, the moments that we had together in here, so it's like bittersweet. I thought I was gonna have something where he could take over and he could help what's going on in the community. I felt as though I did my time and I was gonna pass the baton. But God had different plans for me. And while it is sad that their barbershops are no more, neither Joey nor Bruce have lost sight of what's important. And I can't complain about losing the shop, knowing that how many people lost their loved ones, lost jobs, and they don't have anything to transition to. So you won't hear me complain. And best of luck to Joey and, and Bruce. Yes. Best and everybody awesome. out there struggling. Mm -hmm.
Um, it's a, a great story, but it shows that they are central places in the community, the barbershops. Oh, my gosh, yes. And I know Bruce. I've, I've been to his barbershop several times. I used yeah. to go there, too. Uh, they're both resourceful men. I mean, mm -hmm. they'll, they'll find something and bounce back, I hope. Uh, thank you to Berlinda Garnett, who produced that, and mm -hmm. to Bill Hartung, who um, edited that. Beautifully done.